starting to fail. More than a half century has passed since its first takeoff. The legendary Mir Mi-8 Mantor helicopter has not shown signs of being allowed to retire after so many years of active service. The Mir Mi-8, also known as the HIP, is a medium twin turbine helicopter developed by the Mir Moscow helicopter plant in the late 1950s of the last century. At the time, Mir Moscow's own engineers probably did not think that their brainchild would live so long. The concept of a new helicopter appeared in the late 1950s to replace the successful Mir Mi-4. The new helicopter was completely redesigned with a newer turbine engine combined with an all-new elast fuselage. On July 2, 1961, the prototype named V8 had only a single 2,700 horsepower AL24 solo VF turbocharged engine made its first public flight on the Soviet Aviation Day parade. Since that day, more than 17,000 MIS and dozens of improved versions including the MI-17 Explorer version, have been built continuously at the two plants, Kashan and Ulan Ude. That made the MI-8 one of the most produced helicopters in the world, and production continues today. Apart from the Soviet Union, later Russia, MI-8 helicopters were exported to about 79 countries around the world. It is estimated that there are still about 15 countries in use, and there are sites of a slide in Greece. There are many pro-American countries that are gradually turning to use MI-8 and its improved generations. Simple, versatile, reliable, and easy to maintain. That's what people say about the MI-8, and no one can argue with that. The Mir Mi-8 design emphasizes its material capabilities. In addition to the most common role as a transport helicopter, the Mi-8 is also used as an airborne command post, armed gunship, and reconnaissance platform. In appearance, the Mir Mi-8 is designed to be quite practical. The three main crew, including the pilot, co-pilot, and flight engineer, sit in the cockpit at the front. The cockpit is almost entirely glass, providing great visibility for the crew. Just behind the cockpit is a passenger cabin area. The cabin is spacious, personnel access through side sliding doors. The undercarriage is a fixed tricycle landing gear, two single wheel at the fuselage, and a single two wheel under the nose. MI-8 has a length of 18.70 meters. The main rotor diameter is 21.29 meters. The empty weight is 7.26 tons, and the maximum takeoff weight is 13 tons. The empennage of the MI-8 is head high, featuring a single vertical tail fin, two horizontal planes, and a three-blade tail rotor on the starboard side. Later versions of the Mi-8 added a rear ram to facilitate the loading of military equipment and supplies. The final version of Mi-8 has finally been equipped with a second engine to increase reliability and improve performance. Two Klimov TV3-117MT turbocharged engines are mounted above and behind the cockpit, powering the last 5-blade main rotor system. Each engine produces 1,950 horsepower. Mi-8 can reach a maximum speed of 260 km per hour, a cruise speed of 230 km per hour. 
The range of that helicopter is 610 km. The ferry range is 960 km. And the service ceiling is 4,500 meters. As a transport helicopter, the MI-8 can carry up to 24 fully armed soldiers. The ambulance can be used to hang light military vehicles and ammunition. MI-8 can be used for rescue operations on land or at sea with an electric winch. MI-8 also appears in many other variants. On the MI-8 TV armed versions, the fuselage of the MI-8 helicopter is equipped with two additional stub wings with a total of six hard points, allowing to deployment of a variety of weapons, including 57mm S-5 rockets, bombs, or 9M17 Falanga ATGMs, and one or two side-mounted PK machine guns. There are also dozens of other MI-8 versions like VIP transport, electronic warfare, reconnaissance, etc. Mir Moscow is also developing a next-generation helicopter called the MI-38 intended to replace MI-8 and MI-17. But until then, the MI-8 will remain in service for a long time. The MI-8 variants have gained the admiration of many helicopter manufacturers around the world for their superior flying ability, high reliability, and operability in various weather conditions, as well as easy to operate and maintain. Russian MI-8s have been exported to more than 100 countries around the world and set a record of about 100 million fly hours something that all other helicopters grave. During decades of operation, the MI-8 has been involved in dozens of conflicts around the world. Permanent military operators include Russia, Afghanistan, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Turkey, Bangladesh, Bulgaria, Croatia, the Czech Republic, Ethiopia, Georgia, Hungary, India, Iran, and Serbia. Notable operators also include the United States, which featured the type with their 6 Special Operations Squadron for training purposes. However, during its operation, MI-8 helicopters also had many accidents, including fighter accidents. It can be said that the MI-8 and MI-17 are Russia's golden helicopters when they are available around the world. My video of Mir MI8 and Sphere. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.